said. And then they're going to make up a story because Ari Jane, Ari Jane said Kevin won. I, I didn't. I didn't. Ari Jane, I'll, I'll say it again. Ari Jane wanted me to go to Hack Mania. So if I if she was going to do my show, like I give a fuck. Like I'm going to Hack Mania. And then she's, then she's, she said, I never said anything about Hack Mania. And then she's like, of course, separate rooms. And as a joke, I said, deal breaker. And now Pat Dixon, desperate Pat Dixon and desperate Patrick Melton, they're all like, Kevin's cheating on his wife. Is it? Am I? As soon as I was gone from MLC at the show Misery Loves Company, which Kevin Brennan knows, she was there filling the slot, coincidentally, you know. And uh, uh, since, it, and it's so funny, man, because Kevin holds her in the highest regard. She's his new. Hey, you guys can stop texting me. Just do your own fucking show. Flat Cat says super chatters are mad at the lateness and the clips. Don't shoot the messenger. Uh, the mic came out right when you said it was. Uh... All right. I can't even. Main co host and like. They are they are thick as thieves together. That's uh, Felicia, who, uh, by the way, I, uh, I used to date. As soon as I was gone from MLC, the show Misery Lives Company, which Kevin Brennan knows, she was there filling the slot, coincidentally, you know. And uh, uh, since, it, and it's so funny, man, because... Kevin holds her in the highest regard. She's his new main co-host. And like they are they are thick as thieves together. It was I mean, he simps for her. He said the other day uh, or today, I think it was because he had a new guest and he, that he really liked. He was like he liked all the answers. I like how I like how all the uh, all the all the hacks have to use the, the he's a simp. Uh, he's a narcissist. He's a he's a dick. I mean, it's it's unbelievable. Here's the new gas dad. But he's like, uh, wow, you're like the you're like you're you're great. You're like the male Felicia Gillespie. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> really? Come on, Kevin. Hey, Flacon, how about if I shut the show that's, down? That's just fucking nuts. I mean, should I shut the show down? Look, Would uh. On the other hand, I get it. You know, I, it's not that not I don't get it. It's like, but uh, on the other hand, I get it. You know, really, that's Come his on, girlfriend, Kevin. right, Taz? That's that's just fucking nuts. I mean, come on. I look. But, but uh, on the other hand, I get it. You know, I, it's not that I don't get it. It's like. You know, I I obviously liked her a lot too. That's why I dated her. You know, and then, she... <laughs> but and and you know, presumably it's going to be a, a working relationship that they have. You know, far from like a romantic relationship. Although, I mean, you know, Kevin's a married man, but from what I understand, he was trying to uh, go same room with Ari Jane, according to. What I heard today on a podcast, which I'm repeating without fact checking. I'll let you guys figure that out, but. Um... I know that uh, Felicia would certainly not approve of that. I mean, she that would be enough right there. That would be enough, even if it's if it's like an offhand remark, you know, about trying to get with her. Wow. Wow. These, these people are such spectacular losers. I mean, it, it really is unbelievable. It really is unbelievable. What happened to that fucking stream? I took it down. It really is unbelievable. 
So now Pat Dixon, he's such a Melton Dick rider. And Melton's such a loser. Melton is just such a loser. It's just unbelievable. I mean, these guys are such losers. Pat Dixon literally can't feed himself. And he's worried about what what some story this loser Airy Jane made up because again, she's like, I want out of the hacked verse. I want out of the hacked verse. Can I get out of the hack verse? But I'll be on Melton's Discord. But I want out of the hack verse. Well, I'm gonna make up stories about Kevin Brennan. Cause I want out of the hack verse. I mean, these guys are such losers. Oh my god, it's really spectacular. It really is fucking spectacular. Oh, it's spectacular. Which who, uh, by the way, I, I used to date. You did, Pat? How'd that go? As soon as I was gone from MLC... The how's, how's, what's Pat's uh, love life never work out? I wonder why. I wonder why his love life never works out. Joe, Misery Lives Company, which Kevin Brennan knows. She was there, filling the slot. Coincidentally, you know. And... Uh, since it, and it's so funny man because it is funny it is funny pat's very good at a lot of things but not making money that's one thing pat's not never really got a grip on how do i make money how kevin holds her in the highest regard she's his new main co-host and like they are they are thick as thieves together It was, I mean, he simps for her. He said the other day, uh, or today, I think it was, because he had a new guest and he, that he really liked. It was like he liked all the answers the new guest had. But he's like, uh, the guy lived with his parents and they're 80. That's not a good guest. I thought he was good. He's on Coke, allegedly. I thought that was good. Was I wrong? Flat cut, should I not eat crackers? Are people boycotting flat cut? So they eat crackers? Let me know, flat cut. I'm really interested to know if that's something I should avoid, eating crackers. Should I? Oh my God, what if people stop watching my show? Oh my God, what will happen then? What will happen if I like, people so much on my show? The hustle was there's nothing on the at four o'clock. If somebody's gonna slide in, Ray DeVito, maybe Pat Dixon will slide in. Wow, you're like the you're like you're you're great. You're like the male Felicia Gillespie. <laughs> yeah, because she knows she knows <laughs> really she knows what side to line up on. How's it going working with for Mountain? See, uh, Steel Toast apparently sent Melton the link, and Melton, again, afraid to jump on. When Chad was here, he was afraid of Chad. He jumped off. He's like, I don't like, I don't like face-to-faceness. That's scary. I like to sit in my little bat cave, my little dark cave, so nobody can see my hunchback. I like, I like it there. It's safe. Hunchbacks are safe in a cave. Yeah. Come on, Kevin. That's that's just fucking nuts. I mean, come on. I look good. Uh, on the other hand, I get it. You know, I, it's not that I don't get it. It's like, you know, I I obviously liked her a lot too. That's why I dated her. You know, and mm-hmm. then she, <laughs> but and and you know presumably it's going to be a, a working relationship that they have, you know, far mm-hmm. from like a romantic relationship. Mm-hmm. Although, I mean, you know, Kevin's a married man, but from what I understand, he was trying to uh, go same room with Ari Jane. According to what I heard today on a podcast, which I'm repeating without fact checking. I'll let you guys figure that out, but 
Um, yeah, you guys, the, the 40 people that are watching, I'll let you guys work that one out while I try to figure out how to feed myself. I know that uh, Felicia would certainly not approve of that. I mean, she, that would be enough right there. That would be enough. Even if it's, if it's like an offhand remark, you know, about trying to get with her. Hmm. Well, so now Pat's talking, Felicia doesn't, Felicia won't tolerate that kind of tomfoolery because she said she's always, she was against Pat cheating on her. I don't give a shit. I don't really don't give a shit what Pat and Felicia's uh, relationship was. I really don't give two fucks. I know people think I'm like, why you, why you even care? I don't even, I am just doing, I'm doing it. We're doing it. Flatcat, fuck you. Fuck you. Uh, uh, what time did you send this? Yeah, am I not supposed to eat crackers? I mean, you think I give a fuck? These guys are sad motherfuckers. Melton's a sad motherfucker. You know what sad motherfuckers do? They try to find sadder motherfuckers to shit on them. Yeah, that's what happens. Why, why do you think you go? Why do you think? I, well, I'm not going to go into any details because people will be like, You're, you, we don't like that kind of show. Hang up. Black cats laying down the law. The super chatters don't like this. Don't like the late start. Go watch Point Dabble Point. Go watch it right now. Oh, sad. And then they're gonna make up a story because Ari Jane. Ari Jane said Kevin won. I, I didn't. I didn't. Ari Jane. I'll I'll say it again. Ari Jane wanted me to go to Hack Mania. So if I if she was gonna do my show, like I give a fuck, like I'm going to Hack Mania, and then she's then she's she said I never said anything about Hack Mania, and then she's like, of course, separate rooms. And as a joke, I said deal breaker. And now Pat Dixon, desperate Pat Dixon, and desperate Patrick Melton, they're all like, Kevin's cheating on his wife. Is it? Am I? Hmm. But then uh, but then Stancil's like, Kevin never leaves his house. So which is it? I wonder which it is. I love when Jim Stansel, a fucking midget who thinks he's cool now because he hangs around with Gina Bisconte, literally a midget. Now he's cool. He's cool because he goes to the stand with Gino, even though Gino's not even past there. Probably, probably the last time Gino went on stage there was at my fucking roast. But they go hang out at the stand because they're cool. Stansel's cool. He's a cool guy. He hangs out with a guy who's a professional alcoholic. I'm not even talking about Gina and I'm talking about Matt Mead. The guy went to jail. He's such a fucking alcoholic. But I want to be hanging around with these guys. And maybe I'll run into Joe List. Hey, Joe. How's it going? Were you in Poughkeepsie lately? All your friends are doing arenas. You're just still doing Poughkeepsie? Hi, Joe. Hi. Unbelievable. But yeah, oh my gosh, Flat Cat, are they mad at me? Are they mad at me? Are they gonna go watch Melton or are they gonna go where are they gonna go? Who are they gonna go watch? Point Dabble Point? Oh, what will I do? They're gonna talk about stuttering John some more. What will I do? 